My name's Ashley Parnell. I'm the Maintenance Operations Manager for WestConnex. I look after the WestConnex assets, being the M5 East, the M8 and the M4, and soon the M4, M5 link. We're currently at the water treatment plant at Arncliff. The water treatment plant takes care of the water that comes in on the M8 into the low point sump. The water treatment plant is quite complex in its operation, but let me take you through how it operates. What we have in front of us are the two risers that drop approximately 80 metres underground to the low point sump that picks up all the water from the M8. So now we're in, in the water treatment plant itself and the risers that we were just looking at, this is the risers behind me. These risers go up into this tank called the balance tank. They fill the balance tank and the balance tank holds water until the rest of the water treatment plant can take the water to process it. The balance tank has float valves in it that will tell the pumps downstairs to turn on when the balance tank is at about 80%. When the balance tank fills to approximately 90%, the float valve will turn the pumps downstairs off. So the balance tank transfers water to the reaction tank. The reaction tank then mixes the chemicals with the water and the solids and binds the solids together. The water is then transferred to the dissolved air flotation unit, which is commonly known as the DAF. So after the solids are scraped off from the DAF, they come up here and sit in this tank, which is called a sludge tank. The sludge is then taken from the sludge tank into this screw press and the water is squeezed out of the sludge. The water that comes out of the sludge is recycled back into the water treatment plant and the sludge that is left over drops into a bin and is taken away for disposal. What we have here is the water that comes directly up from the low point sump in the M8 tunnel. You can see it's quite heavy with, with uh, suspended solids. After the water goes through the water treatment plant and comes out of the DAF, which is the dissolved air flotation unit, that's the quality of water. We've removed most of the solids. Once the water then goes through the multimedia filters, and is ready for discharge into the Cooks River. That's the quality of water that is discharged into the Cooks River. So after the water is processed by the water treatment plant, it's then transferred to what's known as the tidal basin. The tidal basin holds the water that's within parameters before it is then discharged to the Cooks River. The discharge takes place only when the Cooks River is on the outgoing tide and only when within parameters. The water going into the Cooks River is completely environmentally safe to all flora and fauna. What do I love about my job? I love working with the assets every day. There's always something new.